notion of pan-Islamism is widespread and has its historical roots in colonialism and it was built upon the feeling of the believers to be part of a single community but it also transformed this concept into the mo modern concept of a nation and this transformation led to the idea of an Islamic State which was uh, instrumentalized by a propaganda trick from this organization there in Iraq and Syria which called itself Islamic State. Okay. Um, I heard uh, the Prophet was, uh, there is a Hadith, mm. I don't know if it's Sahih or not, yeah. some people say it's Sahih, okay. um, where he would, say, would yes. have said there are people coming, they call themselves Dawla. So my question is, um, would you think that the Prophet can, could see the future? Uh, okay, uh, I think uh, the Prophet, by being a Prophet, has an access to the invisible and to a sphere which is not known to others. But at the same time that does not has to mean that every sh everything which is attributed to the Prophet must be from him or from the uh, uh, knowing from God or, uh, but this concept of Dawla is clearly a concept which emerged uh, more than 100 years after the death of the Holy Prophet. And it is in this context that the term itself became popular. And the term means, uh, has the meaning of a changed, of a tournament. This is, this is the meaning of Dawla, a new dynasty. There is also the meaning of revolution in it. And um, you cannot use this more or less ancient concept and words to equalize it with our modern understanding of a state. If you do that, you get in trouble. Yes. Um, tricky question. Because people, Muslim, uh, say Islam regulates everything in life. So um, if we put this phrase like it is and say um, also polit there is uh, this definition of uh, political Islam. So uh, I, will, I would be interested how you would define uh, political Islam. Okay. Uh, I have a, uh, a slightly provocative uh, definition of political Islam. I say to be an Islamist has not as a condition to be a Muslim. Because to use religion for political aims or goals could also be and even it, if it is Islam, by non-Muslims. But it is also used by Muslims. And this is something else than um, acting as politician or teacher or anything else from in a religious ethos. These are two different things, I think. 
and we have developed uh, in the West a, um, uh, a, a kind of uh, communication in the political sphere uh, which is secularized and which makes it, uh, it possible to communicate, to uh, get the consent. And uh, I also think that kinds of this forms of secularization also happened in Muslim history before. Um, separation, uh, separation of religion and governance. Um, how would you argue if uh, somebody said um, this is something which cannot be separated? Look, um, there is a oh, you, you can have a holistic worldview where you where everything is with everything connected, but. In, uh, in life, in our social life, we have to differentiate not only between politics and religion, but in every field to be, f to, to, to be functional. And this is why we have also very different concepts of differentiation between politics and religion different states. It is a form of uh, social uh, consensualization that leads to these different types. Of course we have here in Austria a German a tradition that uh, is influencing our present state. Uh, but to mix it and to uh, combine it and to say both is the same is a lie in, in, at the end uh, because maybe there are uh, points of crossing but there are also different uh, strengths of political and religious thinking uh, motivation that ca can happen. This is human, and to take uh, to to uh, prevent misuse, the secular concept was established. The thing is that a lot of Muslim countries and people. Uh, recipienten or yes this concept as a uh, an, an attack on religion uh, in Europe we, it was sometimes more a liberation process and in a lot of Muslim countries, not all, but very a lot of countries, it was kind of um, an, an, an oppressing uh, um, erfahrung. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, last question. Okay. Yep. Sorry for. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, it's good. Um, uh, last question was um, Islam in Europe is it a contradiction <laughs> and why not or why it is <laughs> this is a question which I, I hear uh, so often uh, you can write books about it yeah, yeah. we have this uh, discussion in Germany does it Islam is part of Europe of Germany. It depends on what, of course, it depends on what you mean with Islam and Germany. 
and uh, I think Islam is not a territorial it's a belief uh, and I think the word for or the, the uh, use of Islam in our uh, societies is a little bit problematic uh, because we use this term to um, to this is not a so, uh, short answer I'm sorry but it, it, we use this term to um, to, uh, to to mean the the Muslims or the totality of Muslims and we think that there is a kind of Islamic Überstamm which is leading those Muslims in a way that could not be in harmony with let's say Europe this is a difficult idea Good. thank you so much yeah, <laughs> good questions. Thank you.